Hey, good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, SAF Kids Church at home. It is such an honor to have you uh, joining in with us. We want to take a second and we want to say, moms, we love you. Kids, if you're watching this, can you help me for the next five seconds? I want you to go give your mom a hug, give them a kiss, give them a high five, tell them thank you for being such an awesome mom. Ready? Go. Do it. Moms, we love you. You're incredible. We honor you. We celebrate you today. Enjoy Kids Church. It's my favorite color. <sighs> Those cupcakes smell delicious. I'm starting to get a unibrow. <laughs> Kansas. Oh, are we rolling? We're rolling. <clears throat> <clears throat> Good morning, kids. We're coming to you live from our SAF Kids studio. I'm Mike. And I'm Angie. And we're bringing you the stories you need to know when you need to know them. Today, we got some good news to share with you. But first, why are these cupcakes here? Mike, I'll explain later. Now, let's all stand up, boys and girls, hmm. so we can do praise and worship. We have two songs this morning, Heartbeat, and I can count on you. All the static, all the noise, can't compete with your beat. Tuning in to your voice, it's your love on repeat. Shout it out, tell the world, I found a meaning. Can't be quiet anymore, you're the song I'm singing. Can you hear, can you hear it? Through a million voices, you're the sound all around. Love is big, love is loud.
And you say, seek and you will find Knock and the door will be open wide I know my breakthrough is coming soon You are faithful, your love's never changing There is hope in the waiting So I can, I can count on you Smells great too. So uh, now can we get the cupcakes? Mike, Mike, the kids are counting on us to bring the news, not to watch us eat cupcakes. Now tell the kids what we're going to be doing next. Ah, uh, uh, well, boys and girls, we're excited to bring you this week's slideshow. Roll film. <laughs> our kids' faces. I miss their funny stories and seeing their crazy dance moves. Me too. No, my, not yet. <sighs> hey, everybody. Don't you just love to live in San Angelo? There's something here for everybody, from skate parks to a museum and even a dog park. I mean, there's no other place in the world where you can get a sunburn going to your car. Mm. Everybody in the city has got somewhere to go. There's no shortage in transportation. Many people have their own vehicles here, but if you don't have a vehicle, there's always the bus. I heard the bus isn't just an ordinary bus. No way, this bus is full of fun and here it comes right now. Yes, that reminds me of today's game and it's gonna be City Sounds. Who's ready to play? Okay, everyone, get real quiet and listen. If you think you know the answer, yell it out! Okay, what do you guys think it is? Ah, that was an easy one. It was a car horn. All right, let's hear the next sound. Everybody get quiet. Let's listen. Now that one was a little trickier. Who thinks they know what sound that was? Okay, if you guessed a subway train zooming by, well, you got it. Now we have one more sound to hear in the city today. Let's get quiet again and listen. All right, yell out your answer. Oh, such a great guess. That was actually our fun bus putting on the brakes. 
That's a really common sound that you'll hear in the city. City life is just the best. There are many things to do around the city. What really makes San Angelo so special is the different people who live here. Hard-working people who are willing to help when there's a need and people who are just plain friendly. I heard that people from SAF are even more amazing. I heard that too. Mm -hmm. Talk about friendly. That reminds me, our award-winning reporter Joe Miller's show is about to start right now. So let's tune in. Hey there, folks. I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be the most fun. We are going to meet Allison McCall. She's basically a world-famous cupcake chef extraordinaire. Let's go get that story straight from the source. So excited to be here. Look at this deliciousness. Hey Joe, cool to have you in the kitchen with me today. I'm whipping up a batch of cupcakes right now. Okay, so the viewers want to know, how do you do it? Your cupcakes are all anyone wants to talk about and eat. Sounds like you want to try one. Here, help yourself. Oh yes, please. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. I've always loved creating recipes and baking cupcakes, so I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. That's awesome. And I will say, after reporting the news for so long, I've learned you really need to be careful online. You can't just click on any old video. There's lots of stuff out there that we are not supposed to see. You're exactly right. When I was building my channel, I had to be really careful with what I clicked on. Sometimes things weren't what they said they were gonna be. As a tip for everyone watching, always ask an adult to help when searching the web. And if you have a bad feeling about something or see anything that seems wrong, let them know right away. You are so right, Allison. Internet safety is extremely important. So tell us more about your channel. Well, I wanted to create a channel where anyone and everyone could follow along and make cupcakes of their very own. After making a few videos, I noticed I was getting a lot of comments and shout outs from the viewers. Most of them were really great, but some of them were not so nice. Who could say anything bad about these amazing cupcakes? Well, a couple viewers started leaving comments saying I wasn't good at baking and that none of these recipes were actually mine. Well, please tell us that you didn't believe what they were saying. For a minute, I did, but then I realized I had to replace their lies with God's truth. You see, the devil was using tricky people to come against me, hoping that I would listen and stop doing what God made me to do. Well, it sounds like you had to put on the belt of truth for that one. That's exactly right. I know it's important to put on the full armor of God every single day. And the piece of armor that helped me the most was the belt of truth. The belt of truth helps all of us believe the truth that God says about us. And it sounds like it helped you so much with those mean comments. It totally did. Now my YouTube channel has tons of subscribers and is a huge success. And I even have a real bakery of my very own. So people can watch my show to learn how to make cupcakes or just swing by and pick one up right here. Best of both worlds. I love it. Well, I am so glad you used the belt of truth. If you would have believed those lies people said about you, we wouldn't be enjoying these tasty treats today. Thanks for letting us visit. Stop by any time. There will always be a cupcake with your name on it. Yes, thanks. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Thanks, Joe. I love finding out more about the people who use their everyday armor to make this city super special. Speaking of special. Mike, put that down. Come on. Put it down, Mike. Uh, it's fine. not the time. So let's talk about some of the things that Joe and Allison said. 
Do you remember what piece of God's armor that Allison talked about, boys and girls? That's right. Allison told us that she has to put on God's armor every day. But the piece that's really helpful in her job is the belt of truth. Why is it important to wear the belt of truth every day? Yes, it's important to wear the belt of truth because it protects us from the lies of the enemy. There are lots of lies floating around out there and the enemy would love for us to fall for them. But when we wear the belt of truth, we can separate what God says is true from the lies of the enemy and stand against them. So where can we find what God says is true, boys and girls? You got it, the Bible. The Bible tells us what truth is. And every time you read the Bible, you are putting on the belt of truth. Each piece of God's armor is completely invisible. But that doesn't mean it's not real. Even though we can't see God's armor when we put it on every single day, it will make us strong and give us God's power. I've got a symbol for each piece of God's armor that will help you remember what it's for. How many pieces of armor do you see? You're right, kids, six. The first piece of armor that God is giving us is the belt of truth. Next is the armor of godliness and the good news boots. We need the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit too. When we put on the full armor of God, we'll be able to stand strong against any evil that comes our way. The devil will try to trick us and lie to us and that's why it's important to make sure we've got on our belt of truth. And that's what we're learning today. Everyone, stand up so we can say what we need to know together. My <clears throat> Not us? <clears throat> that's right, you stand up. <laughs> now say this after me. Put on. Put on. The belt of truth. The belt of truth. Let's say it again. Put on. Put on the belt of truth. The belt of truth. That reminds me of our memory verse. Hmm. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Say it with me, boys and girls. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Good job, boys and girls. We need all of this armor because like Joe said earlier, there's some really tricky people out there and we need to know how to spot lies and remember the truth. Here. Check out this Bible story about why it's so important to wear the belt of truth. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. When God created the world we live in, there were two people named Adam and Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden and they were friends with God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed and told them that they could eat anything growing in the garden except for the food growing on one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve that if they did eat from that tree, they would die. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve had a very real enemy who wanted to twist that truth into a major lie. Their enemy was the devil, and because the devil can take on many forms, he came as a sneaky, sneaky snake. The snake came to Eve and asked her what God said about the fruit in the garden. Eve told him that God said if she ate from the tree, she would die. But the snake convinced Eve that that was a lie. He said, you won't die if you eat the fruit. You'll know things that you've never known before. Eve listened to the snake's lie and got distracted from the truth. 
Not only did Eve eat a piece of fruit, she also gave some to Adam. Right away they realized they had done something wrong. God punished them because of what they had done and made them leave the garden where they had been living. Adam and Eve chose to believe the lie that the devil told them over the truth that God had for them. At that moment, evil and death entered the world and we're still battling them today. When we remember God's word, we put on the belt of truth. It is the part of God's armor that gives us the power to stand up against the lies that come our way. So when we hear things like, no one loves you, or you'll never be enough, we can know those are lies. God loves us, and because of that, he's given us all the tools we need to fight the enemy and win. With the belt of truth, we'll be able to detect lies and overcome them with God's powerful truth. We can put on the belt of truth. Now that was an amazing story. You may be wondering what it looks like to put on God's armor in real life. Hey, we've got breaking news, Miss Angie. Awesome. Tell We're us. bringing it to you live. Oh, mm hmm, mm hmm. We have a story. We have a story of uh, someone who has put on God's armor in real life. Here, take a look at this picture of Maisie. Maisie is a kid, just like you. Maisie tries her best to put on each piece of God's armor every day. As you can see, she's using her phone, and today it's especially important that she has on the belt of truth. That's because a girl in her class just sent her a really mean text. That text said some hurtful and not true things about Macy. Because Macy has on the belt of truth, she can remember what God says about her and know that the text is not true. Macy knows that she needs God's armor in order to stand strong every day. Just like Macy, you can put on the belt of truth too. When we put on his full armor, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Okay, now we're gonna put on God's armor together. Here, check this out. Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now I stand firm and pray. We're gonna do something different today. We're gonna to play a song that talks about worshiping God by saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, how do you say that? Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. And that means to praise God. We didn't add the motions because we want you to worship in your own way. You can lift up your hands, or you can dance, or you can just close your eyes. Any way that you think that you'd like to worship, you can do that. Now let's sing this together.
song helps us to understand that when we're in the middle of a battle, we don't have to fear one bit. God is always with us. And when we put on his full armor, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Now we can stand firm in the armor of God and pray, which is exactly what we're going to do together right now. Everybody, bow your head and close your eyes and let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for giving us your full armor. Help us to remember to put on each and every piece so that we can stand against the devil's lies and tricks. We know you are greater than anything we face, and we love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And remember, boys and girls, that you've got God's power with you, and you're ready to face anything the evil one would even throw your way. Angie, can you say the last part? I can't resist these cupcakes. Remember, boys and girls, make sure you do your activity sheet and load them to the SAF Facebook page. That's it for today's broadcast. We thank you for watching SAF Kids News, where we bring you only the good news first. <laughs> Yeah.